direct order to report to you. Mm. All right, Carl, that'll be enough for now. I will not tolerate insubordination, Peterson. Of course not. I quite understand that. It must be very difficult for you trying to run this place and having to put up with types like Powell. That's enough. Will you be quiet? You really must learn not to interrupt. Of course, mm. I understand your problems, Mrs. Davidson. It's uh, never easy dealing with subordinates. Although, of course, I do realize that these menials are necessary for running a place at this time. Menial silence! You know, I was thinking while I was having my rest this afternoon, you could do with some help to keep the women in line. Not to mention the people who are helping you. So I've decided to help you. As a matter of fact, I find the idea of a joint venture rather challenging. I don't know what you're playing at, Peterson, but it won't work. Now, I've heard enough of your nonsense, and I demand an apology to Mrs. Powell. An apology? You are in enough trouble already. Don't make things worse for yourself. Oh, I see. You have to say these things. You feel you can't accept my offer of help in front of the staff. I think you should, you know. People get quite uncomfortable if they sense that things are being kept from. Yes? What is it? 